Hello, fellow developers. Today, we're going to utilize AI to make Unity animations inside of the Unity project. We have this small cute guy. I found a sample, a public sample um, for character controller. Uh, it works pretty good. Let me show you what it can do. So, but it doesn't have an animation. So we have this character. We can walk, we can jump. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. We can like walk around all these objects. Uh, but I want to AI to make an animation of the movement of the idol when the character is not doing anything and the jump, of course. And let's get started. Let's make it real. So let's stop the game. Um, I'm going to delete everything what I did before. Just to have a pure, clear, clear sample. Um, and I, if you don't mind, I'm gonna copy my prompt, original prompt from the previous message I tried when I tried to do that. So here's what we're gonna do. All right. Uh, so we're gonna ask AI to create uh, animator controller plus three animations. Um, and that's it. So it's going to figure it out. It's going to find the, this game object. It's going to attach animator to, to this. And let's hit enter. I'm going to keep explaining while it's working. Uh, so here is what's going to happen. First of all, what do we use? We use this solution. If you want to install it, just click uh, download installer and then import it into your project. As only that's going to be done, you will see this window. This is AI game developer window. You will need to configure your MCP client. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code with Copilot. So I did click configure, and then in Visual Studio Code right here, you can take a look at the extensions panel on the left side, right there. You're gonna see AI Game Developer. You would need to click start, and it's gonna launch. As only it's launched it. You're going to see this status change it to connected. And that's it. It's very easy. And AI is can do that. So then you can keep keep like prompting anything you want. And AI is going to do that for you directly in the Unity editor. And you can take a look like what's exactly AI is doing right now. Um, so originally it started to get the scene data. You can click on it and you're going to see all the details. So in this block, you may see what AI did sent to AI game developer to Unity. Uh, so it's, it was a simple command like scene get data, uh, including root game objects true. And here is what AI got. Uh, so if you want to like to debug something, you, you can take a look on all this. So it's like a core information about the scene. Let's close this one. And then AI is like keep 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 working. It's like keep sending some data, take some data back from Unity. Uh, it keeps iterating, so it goes step by step. It, it it tries to understand the project, understand the structure. Uh, sometimes it may fail, like right now, it, it just just did fail. Uh, that's actually a bug, which I'm gonna fix a bit later. So there is one thing that AI game developer cannot serialize. That's the interface called iCharacterController, which is like, I will need to take a look what's wrong. So, but don't worry, uh, just because a game developer has a lot of pretty handy, handy tools, there is an alternative one, which LLM is smart enough to understand, like there is an alternative way and it's gonna go that way. That's to execute the C-sharp code directly uh, in Unity Engine even without recompiling Unity Engine itself. Um, and by that code, it can it, it has access to any Unity API, your custom API, if you have some C-sharp code in your project. So it, it can do literally everything. And, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna do that in a second. Um, yeah, so it did modify something. Yeah, we can see we have animator already right there. And what do you say? Did you say you're done? I'm not sure. Let's take a look. So yeah, we have animator and we have some stuff. Oh, actually, yes, we have already three animations. I see them here. 
I see the character animator controller here as well. So let's take a look how they look like. Here is the idle animation, looks cute. It's like this guy is kind of like breathing. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, let's check out the jump animation. Perfect. I like it. Looks really good. Uh, and let's take a look on the last one, walk. Okay, I like it. Perfect, cool. Uh, all right, I guess we're done with this one. It just took a minute, right? It was fast. Let's start the game. And let's take a look. Okay, let's let's test jump. Jump looks cool. The animation is there. The idol is working. You, you may see it's breathing. Oh, wait a sec. It breathes once and then it's done. So no loop. We're gonna ask AI to fix that. Uh, so jump happens once, which is okay. Let's test walk. Walk happens once and then it's done. Okay, so uh, we need to, we need to ask it to fix two things. Make sure that idle and walk animation are in the are in the loop. All right, that's done. So AI yeah, gonna fix that in a second. It should be very easy for AI because you just need to 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 like change a single flag here yeah this one so this checkbox is going to be turned on in a second on idle and on walk animations let's take a look ai is taking the data for two things probably these two animation clips it analyzed this data right now and it just changed it it's done yeah this one and probably not the one too let's check yeah, both of them. Okay, it's done. Jump is not in the loop, which is good. Walk and idle, done. And AI said I'm done. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's hit Control S to save the stuff. And let's play one more time. Yeah, the fun thing. Uh, so AI did animate the root game object. So that's why, yeah, uh, the walk animation is in the loop right now. It's, it's keep playing. Uh, and that's why like the camera is, is shaking with the character as well which is like a bit funny but that's fine that's fine <laughs> it's like it's not a bug it's a feature you know okay that's cool so animation is working idle animation is looping too yeah it's in the loop cool yeah why can it's in the loop uh idle is in the loop that's cool jump in place once okay so that's actually done it was very easy and i handle it so quickly and just with a single issue which we figured out very quickly and like ever since very good all right guys if you like this video please give me a like uh if you would like to hear more such a content about ai game development unity engine tips and tricks in the unity engine and all that stuff please subscribe and you will definitely get much more content pretty soon Alrighty guys, see you next time in the next video. See ya.